flu shot this year? You know, I don't think getting the flu shot's a very good idea. I mean, if you think about it, they're injecting the flu virus right into your body. And I don't think it's uh, unreasonable to think that you would get the flu from the flu shot. So this year, I'm gonna pass. Around the time you get flu vaccine, there's a lot of cold viruses going on. So you get the flu vaccine and it can cause some soreness of your arm, some redness, but you can't get the flu from the flu vaccine. The flu vaccine, the injection, contains dead vaccine. What's that mean? It's dead, it can't cause the flu. But you go home, you're sore, and then maybe you get exposed to a seasonal cold. You think those symptoms are related to the flu vaccine and you blame it on the flu vaccine. Now there is a nasal vaccine called flu mist, it's inhaled, that has live vaccine, but all of the things that can cause the flu that cause an infection are removed. So no, you cannot get the flu from the flu vaccine. You know, the flu really is pretty harmless. You do feel cruddy for a couple of days, but if you think about it, you get to go home for, for a little while. You know, worse things can happen. I'm not getting the shot. Yeah, you know, some people think that the flu is like a common cold, but really the flu's a lot worse than that. And if you've ever had the flu, you know it. You feel like you've been hit like a Mack truck. That's not my description. That's what most people say. But the flu also causes disease much worse than the common cold. 5% of Americans get the flu. 200,000 are hospitalized every year. And last year, 36,000 Americans died because of the flu. The flu is a lot more than a common cold. It's not annoying and harmless. It can be a serious illness. No, I don't think I need the flu shot. I'm strong and healthy. The flu shot's for the old and the weak. I run every day, I eat my vitamins and say my prayers. I don't need a flu shot. Right. The flu affects older individuals more than younger individuals, but young people can still have severe illness from the flu. And even if you don't have that, you're still gonna feel ill, you're still gonna miss work, you're still gonna feel like you were hit by a Mack truck. But that's not the only reason to get the vaccine, to protect yourself. The individuals most at risk are young children, infants under the age of six, adults and other uh, adults over the age of 65 and people with chronic health conditions, asthma, emphysema, heart disease. As healthcare workers, we see these people all the time and we have an obligation to protect them as well. I got a shot last year. And besides, Murph over in accounting told me that the flu shot's good for at least two to three years. I don't need a flu shot. Vaccines are a little tricky. People can get really confused. This is an area of confusion. You get the chickenpox vaccine or the measles vaccine and you only need that once or twice in your life. The flu vaccine's different. The flu is different. Every year the flu changes. And so the government decides, an expert panel of physicians decides what to vaccinate against each year. So the vaccine changes each year because the flu virus changes every year. If you got vaccinated last year, it does not protect you from this year's flu. Did you feel how cold it was when you walked in this morning? It's freezing outside. The flu shot is not gonna help me now. It is too late. Yeah, you know, we used to run out of vaccine in November. Now we have more supply, so there's vaccine available through mid-January typically. And the peak of the seasonal flu doesn't occur until February or March. So getting yourself vaccinated, even in January, will still prevent flu. Okay, okay, you win, I'll take the shot.